This is Mr Evans. This video covers the second of the um, uh, efficiency ratios you need to know about receivables days. So we're down here on the specification. Um, and uh, in this video, in the last video, we looked at payables days. Payables days was the number of days it took us for an organisation to pay their creditors, the people who have offered them money. Receivables uh, receivables days, which used to be called debtor days, measures the number of uh, days it takes for an organisation to collect its debts. So if payables days is about paying debts, receivable days is about how efficient is a business at managing its debt collection, uh, at, at collecting money off the people that, that uh, owe them money. And the formula uh, requires you to look at both the uh, balance sheet to find their receivables as one of the current liability, uh, current assets. Sorry, remember current assets are debt, uh, 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 um, uh, credit that you're due to collect in the coming year. Current assets are going to be turned into cash in the current year, and one of those current assets is receivables, which is uh, which are people who have already bought the product but have yet to pay for it. We divide our receivables by the sales revenue and times that by 365, and that tells us how long it's uh, taking us to collect our debts. So, um, very simple example, if you've got receivables of 1.3 million on your balance sheet, a sales revenue of 19.4 million, you divide your receivables uh, by your sales revenue, times it by 365, and that tells us that this company is taking approximately 24 and a half days, 25 days, we, 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 we'd round it up, um, to uh, collect its debts, okay? So, how do we interpret that? Well, first of all, um, most businesses would want to collect cash as soon as possible, all right? Any delay in that is gonna worsen their cash flow. You know, it might be expected that a business has to offer some sort of credit, but obviously once you've sold your product, once your product has left your shop, you want the money in as soon as possible. Um, so particularly in business to business transactions, a certain amount of credit is expected to be offered. Um, However, it's going to be beneficial for cash flow if the receivables days are lower than the payables days. So what we really want for our cash flow is we want our receivables to be coming in before um, we are paying our suppliers, before our uh, payables are due. So if the receivables days are shorter than the payables days, if we're collecting debts before we're having to pay our suppliers, that's probably going to be beneficial for cash flow. It should also be noted, of course, that different types of businesses will um, uh, will need to offer credit. Um, so, for example, when you go to the supermarket, you will buy your food there and then. You're not going to buy it on credit uh, most of the time. Whereas if you maybe buy a car or a fridge or another big ticket item, a sofa, maybe you would expect some form of credit to be offered there. Um, so... You know, the interpretation does depend on the industry and also you want to see what's happening over time. Is the organisation getting better at collecting debts, more efficient, or is it actually getting worse? How do we improve receivables days? Well, we could reduce credit terms uh, offered to customers. We don't give people as much time to pay. We say we want the money as soon as possible. Um, but obviously that could be damaging for customer service. Or we try and increase incentives for early payments, maybe giving a 10% discount uh, for people who pay their debts, uh, you know, by a certain date. So there are both ways we could look at improving receivables. Key thing about both receivables and payables days, you want to look at them together to see, um, uh, is this business managing its cash flow well? Is it collecting its debts before it pays its suppliers? Or is it having to pay its suppliers before it collects money uh, from its customers before it collects its debts, that could be a sign of cash flow problems.